हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट द सेटेलाइट कम्युनिकेशन इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी सॉ द ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ सेटेलाइट कम्युनिकेशन व्हिच हैज अ अर्थ स्टेशन ट्रांसमीटर व्हिच इज द अपलिक सेक्शन वी हैव द सेटेलाइट व्हिच हैज द मेन पार्ट एज अ ट्रांसपोंडर वी हैव द अर्थ स्टेशन रिसीवर व्हिच इज द डाउन सेक्शन सो वी विल सी दीज थ्री मेन पार्ट्स ऑफ अ सेटेलाइट कम्युनिकेशन इन डिटेल फर्स्ट वी विल सी द अपलिंक section in the uplink section there is a if modulator we have the bpf that is the your bandpass filter we have if to rf up converter this i have drawn the block diagram here the baseband signal which was uh, means want the user was wanting to send the signal that is called the usually baseband signal that is given to the earth station transmitter now the earth station transmitter has the is known as the uplink section so inside this the baseband signal is given to an if modulator the if modulator if means intermediate frequency modulator intermediate because this is not the main frequency which is to be sent to the Uh, satellite so it is called it is in the intermediate stage so which is called if so if modulation here the modulation process uh, modulation will be taking place here fm fsk psk qam any modulation technique will be applied then the output will be passed through a bandpass filter to cut or to remove the unnecessary frequency components so the frequency which we obtain after this which we are calling as the intermediate frequency if frequency is then further given to the up converter this is the up converter block and up converter means this if frequency will be uh, increased in value because it has to be increased to an rf range so that it can be sent to the satellite through the space radiation so in up converter there is a mixer there is uplink frequency microwave generator which will give an rf frequency and here it is giving a if frequency in the mixer these two frequencies are multiplied and they give a rf frequency means a higher frequency this higher frequency is again passed through another bandpass filter which will again make the band very clear that outside this band the signals are removed this is done to make the signal precise in bandwidth and after the conversion we are getting a high frequency and this high frequency is then given to a high power amplifier means it will amplify it will increase the signal strength because it has to cover a large distance and also it will boost its power it will increase its power level so that it can reach the satellite so after this block it is radiated through the antenna to the satellite so this is the part of uplink section so when a question is asked the write a short note on satellite communication you have to uh, write its importance its block diagram its some important features which i have covered in my session and i will give a video lecture on a separate question which can be asked that why uplink frequency is higher than downlink frequency so just see that so that if a question comes in exam you are able to answer it correctly so moving further so the satellite it consists of a transponder this name comes from transmitter and responder so transponder so satellite has a transponder a power supply system and usually this power supply is from the solar panels from the sun arrangements to control its position in the sky and fuel etc these things are on the on board on the satellite so main thing in the satellite for communication point from communication point of view is the transponder so we'll cover it transponder is the block diagram for transponder we'll be showing here it consists of a receiving antenna because the transponder is on the satellite the satellite will have to receive the signal given by the earth station so it will need a antenna so transponder is has a receiving antenna 
from earth station the signal has been transmitted it is being received by the transmitter transponder sorry and then it is passed through the band pass filter to remove or to make the signal precise it is further passed to a low noise amplifier which is this uh, low noise amplifier is a tunnel diode and one thing i would like to tell here the receiving antenna here its frequency is same as the uplink frequency because the signal was transmitted at this frequency so it has to be received at this frequency a, so the receiving antenna has to be uh, tuned at this frequency after this there is a lna low noise amplifier it will amplify the signal but it will not add much noise its noise con its uh, noise level is very low and then this uh, frequency which has been obtained the high frequency now this frequency has to be again sent back to the earth but with a difference from the uplink frequency and this difference in frequency is usually 2 gigahertz the uplink is at a higher value and the downlink is at a lower value and the difference is usually 2 gigahertz so this 2 gigahertz difference is created by this frequency translated block here what we have this uh, frequency is rf frequency it is given to the frequency translator in the and it has a mixer inside it and to the mixer another frequency rf is given by the microwave shift oscillator the frequency of this shift oscillator or the purpose of this shift oscillator is to create a difference between the uplink and the downlink which in most cases is 2 gigahertz so they mix they produce a product and then the frequency which is created it will again pass through a band pass filter and at the end since we have to send this uh, signal or this frequency back to the earth station and since it has to come back so the power required is not that much because anything which has to move up side it requires more power as compared to a thing which moves down side so now a low power is required so a low power amplifier will uh, send this signal back through the uh, this antenna back to the earth station receiver so the earth station receiver is the downlink section so this is the block diagram of the transponder so the question will in the question you'll have to answer or you have to make this block diagrams since there are many earth stations for the transmitter and receiving earth station so there are more than one transponder on the satellite to cater to the need of the other tra many transmitters and receivers now the downlink section the downlink section is the earth station receiver part here we can see the block diagram the signal which was transmitted from the transponder to the earth station so that this is the at the downlink frequency so this frequency at which the signal is transmitted from the transponder the same frequency is of the antenna at the earth station receiver so that it can receive the signal so the downlink section has a receiving antenna its frequency is equal to the downlink frequency has a band pass filter the purpose of which is again to make the signal precise there is an input this is called the input band pass filter and then we have a low noise amplifier again its purpose is to add is to amplify the signal but with very low noise and then we have a down converter because now the signal has been received from the satellite and it has to be sent to the user destination so the user destination wants the signal back in its original frequency so this is the down converter which will take the rf frequency which has been sent by the satellite it will mix mix it with a downlink frequency microwave generator these two signals will provide an intermediate frequency this intermediate frequency is uh, the same as we saw in the uplink section since it is not the final so we call it as intermediate frequency it is sent to the band pass filter and then the band pass filter output is given to the if demodulator it will act in reverse uh, technique as the one which was in the if modulation modulator section and at the end the output is given to the user destination 
so this is the downlink section so these are the three main sections of our satellite communication so with this this topic is complete and in another another video i will tell why uplink frequency is greater than downlink frequency okay thank you and subscribe to my channel